What's good everyone? Welcome back to a new video and sorry I haven't uploaded for a long time is you know because I was just too busy with school and everything like that. Fucking stuttered. Okay. Um, so I just finished my finals and oh my god I'm so excited to work on the car right now. So today we're gonna be installing the coilovers. Hold on, hold on, let me angle the camera. We're gonna be installing coilovers. These are god speeds and they have spring dampening adjustments so I can make the spring rate stiff as fuck okay so i'm excited for that i'm gonna be playing on the tl and uh there's bird poop right there and then i also got wheels um i'm not gonna be running the front because shit's discontinued one of them is missing anyways so i'm gonna be installing the rears and um, these are stretched so if you guys are wondering what the specs of these are these are 19 by 11s with the positive 15 offset and these should fit um, so I'm gonna be, if it can't, I'm gonna be pulling my fenders. Well, I have to fix this first, so I don't want this shit to spread. Uh, I'm gonna be pulling the fenders, taking out the fender liners as well. So it could actually fit. I might run negative seven camber in the rears for, for these wheels to fit. Uh, my camber arm should be coming in tomorrow as well. By the time I upload this, it probably should have came in. So... I just need to move the. Where's my keys? Oh, I was like, I thought I thought the car was unlocked. So right now I'm taking a look at the the strut itself. Where should I take off the bolts and how to you know take out the strut in general? So right now there, I just need to take off these bolts, including this strut bar. And as I was looking down here, it looks. The components of this look very similar to the O2 or 6th gen Accord that I, that I had before. Um, so it sits on top of this wishbone right here and I just need to disconnect the straight end links. And I need to disconnect this bolt. I'm not sure you guys can see it. Oh, there's the oil filter. Oh shit, look at all that oil. <laughs> shit, I need to fix that. Oh, that's gonna be a bitch, dude. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think it's as bad as I thought it would be. Um, Oh, sorry, off track. And then the stretch should come out very easily. Uh, where's the ABS? Like, oh, this is the ABS. And then this is the brake line. I think everything should be fine. Apparently, this control armor is very small. I feel I feel like I could fit 19s in the front instead of 18s. Interesting. Oh, you can see all the rub right here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take off those bolts and everything and get started in the front. Finally, took off the bolts to this strut. Roll bar. Yeah. Oh, what's that attached to? Oh, skipped onto this by accident. Let's see. Oh, it's attached to that as well. Just realized. Yeah, I'm both this. Is, is that 10? I don't remember if that's 10. I can't. I don't think we're. I can't even find my 10. Is this a 10? This is a. Fuck, this is an 11. Is this a 10? Nine, where's my 10? Is this a 10? Yeah. Yeah. 10 right here. Let's see. Yeah, it's okay. Let's see that. Take this thing off and then, and then this. And then this one on top. There we go. And ratchet goes on here. And then it should squeeze in there. There you go, perfect, perfect, perfect. There you go. Finally off. It's right here, so I can remind myself not to trip. Trip the trip there's so many fucking times already. And these. I lost it. Oh, that scared me. So everything is all disconnected on this section. The wishbone is down the ground. Yeah, you can see. So just gotta push it down. I just can't wait to install the aftermarket ones. Alrighty. Fucking OEM's out. And then, oops. And this. Oh, no, 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 it's rolling. Stay here. Damn, this shit's small. Which one's the front? Oh, it's this one. 
Hmm. Is there a difference? Okay. Okay. So it's a lot shorter. I'm trying to catch up. Yep, it's a lot shorter. Is it much thinner as well? Oh, I can't tell. I need to cut this. Yeah, it's much smaller and thinner. I think I have a couple of centimeters for an aftermarket wheel with this. I want to max out, to be honest. I really do want to max out with the um, with spring compressor right there. No, not a compressor. Spring adjustment. Uh, I'll have to see. I want to install this first before anything. Yeah, let's just get right to it. Right for show. So the coils are finally installed. We just need to install back the. the fuck was that? Huh. The roll bar, and then um, I just need to readjust the ride height. Oh, where's the scanner wrenches? All right here. Oh. What's that? Huh. Oh, interesting. I got no clue what that is. Interesting. Okay. So I'm gonna open this. Okay, I'm just gonna use a screwdriver. So yeah, I got my standard wrenches. I'm gonna readjust these, tighten them, actually tighten them, actually readjust them and tighten them. So you know, it can ride well. And then I gonna stiffen up the suspensions from soft to hard. You know, everyone likes it hard and soft, you know, wink wink. <sighs> Never mind. I don't know when gets that joke. Anyways, so um yeah, basically I'm almost just 90% done with the front. Jesus Christ, just look at that. Ooh, ooh, I am so happy right now with the front results right now. I'm not even maxed out either. Holy fuck, this thing can't even fit under here. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, this is this is the ride height that I love. I love this type of ride height. Alrighty, so I'm gonna be I'm working on this section at the moment. Um, I haven't took off the wheel on the other side. Oh, I'm so tired. So I, I just, um, I, I disassembled the uh, sway end links, and then I took out the bolt for the bottom portion of the strut. So right now I just need, I just need to get to the top two bolts. Uh, so what you gotta do for the rear, you have, you really have to strip out the back seat, and then not only that, let me climb in, let me climb in. Ugh. So the bolts are right here, and one inside. Um, so what you're gonna have to do is uh, remove this panel, put it right here, and then this panel, put it right here, and then you have to lift up this too. This is the hard part. I don't want to damage anything, so you just gotta. Just manhandle it and then take out the seat belts from there. All right, so I took a little break and, and apparently it's all nighttime. So right now, um, before I could call it a day, I need to raise the front end because it's sitting way too low in my opinion for a front end. Because this type of um, fitment or lowerness should be in the rear in my, in my specific opinion. So I'm pretty tired. I, sorry I didn't get to record the, the, the rear portion of the install. Uh, just got too busy with it. I was just focusing on that, but overall this should I'm I'm just excited that the car is finally lowered. 
light kind of went out. So yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, so I'll be making a video on the camera arm install as well tomorrow. So and if if the camera arm is so good, I can install the wheels. So peace out.